You may be seated. Good afternoon. I thought we were excited we're graduating. Let's start again. Good afternoon. That's no problem. Absolutely. We're so glad to have you all here for our 2021 fall commencement. As most of you know, we've been under COVID for the past couple of years, and this is the first time we've got to have our, our live ceremony with our family and friends. So welcome back, family and friends. Um, be before we get really rolling in the ceremony, we have a couple pieces of housekeeping I need to uh, do. First is, if everyone would please, um, out of respect for our graduates and our speakers, please silence your phones if you can. Secondly, I need to make you aware that we have three emergency exits in the event, in the unlikely event that we would need them. And I'm also practicing for when I retire from here, I'm gonna be a stewardess, so help me out. It's here <laughs> and here. And the, the last piece is um, uh, we are, we are um, streaming this for folks who could not be here, so you'll be able to share this with family and friends who are not able to make it. Last piece of housekeeping, y'all know I do selfies, so I need y'all to smile, all right? Everybody's got a smile. Here we go. Somebody's not smiling up there in the corner. <laughs> get Dr. Rehack back there. Um, um, at this moment, I, I, I'd like to take just an opportunity to uh, introduce the folks on the stage with me today for commencement. So as I call your name, please rise and remain standing until we get to the end, and then we'll give them all a round of applause. So with, me, with us today on the stage, we have our faculty representative from the, he's the president of the uh, faculty association, Trey Fricks. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Sid Arizmendez, board trustee member. Mr. Mercer Lane, board member. Mr. Carol Losey, secretary of our board. Mr. Rodriguez, Eloy Rodriguez, who's our vice chair. Um, Mr. Sanchez, who's a member. Uh, Victor Gomez, who is our president of the, our chair of our board of trustees. And of course, our uh, keynote speaker today, Representative Jay Lozano. Dr. Patricia Rehack, the College of the Provost, Dean Mark Secord, the Dean of Transfer and General Education, Dr. Kayla Jones, Dean of Student Success Services and Accessibility, and Dean Luana Hernandez, who is the Dean of Allied Health and Nurses. Let's give them a hand. sit down too quick. So if everyone please would join me and rise for the um, uh, invocation. Um, Valerie Quinta, please join me up here. And um, after our invocation, uh, Students and families and faculty to graduation day here at Coastal Bend College. It's my honor to deliver this year's invocation um, for this year's commencement. And if we can please bow our heads for prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, today we celebrate and give you thanks for every student here. Thank you for leading them in and out of their education and keeping them safe as they worked hard and giving them the strength to finish their education. We pray that we will enjoy and share our achievements with each other, our family, and our friends always. And Father, as we dedicate this education to you, we thank you for leading and guiding us all through all that we have faced and that we continue to face in life. Please bless us now as we celebrate and mark this special day. We give you thanks and we give you all the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. would 
please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance, which will be led by Dr. Jones. be seated. It is an immense honor to have you all here today as we come together to celebrate the accomplishments of fall uh, 2021 class. The fall graduating class earned over 260 degrees, certificates, and occupational skills achievements awards. Let's give them a round of applause. Ralph Waldo Emerson, an American poet and an advocate of social reform, stated, What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. As you embark on your next chapter of education or you start your career, keep those words in mind. You are the next generation of medical professionals, lawyers, teachers, law enforcement officials, business owners, engineers, and so many other occupations that will lead to a strong and vibrant educated workforce. At this time, I'd like to invite our board chairman, Victor Gomez, to the podium for the trustees' remarks. Chairman Gomez, please. Thank you, Dr. Hogger. Uh, I'll be real brief. Uh, we've got an excellent keynote speaker, and I really want you guys to listen to it. Um, thank you for choosing Coast Bay College as your college of choice. Uh, I'm just amazed at how much work you guys had to put in to get to this point through the pandemic, through a snow bid, if you will. Uh, just lots of work, adversity, and you guys overcame it. You're sitting here today successful, and this is just the beginning. Uh, as you go forward, always remember you didn't get here alone. There are many people that have helped along the way. And so I'd like for you to leave here today, and the first thing I'd like you to do when you get out of here is thank those that have helped you along this way. Your parents, your aunts, your uncles, your tias, your abuelitos, your abuelitos, whatever or whoever it was that helped you get to this point. Remember, you didn't get here alone, and you won't get to the next stage of your life alone. You will always have help along the way. And we here at Coast Bay College will be the first to say, we need help come with us. Um, because we want to see you, the future leaders of this community, of this state, of this great nation, uh, be as successful as we can. So let me be the first to congratulate you. Uh, thank you so much. Let's try that. Before we bring our keynote speaker and introduce him, I'd like to recognize a few folks um, that work tirelessly year-round. A lot of them are behind 
the corners, but uh, you know, behind the, the scenes doing their job, they're just doing their job. That's all they're doing, but they help get our students here. So I'd like to recognize all of our staff that is with us in attendance today. If you would, if you're on the wall, step forward. And if you're here in the crowd, please stand up and be recognized. Thank you. From, from site directors to financial, uh, financial aid administrators and directors to our coaching staff. It takes a team to get us to the final, uh, the finish line. The other group we need to recognize is our faculty. Faculty, please stand and be recognized for all the hard work that you do. <laughs> hard to teach without quality instructors, right? They do a great job. And what you, what you don't see is what happens behind the scene. They have to do these little projects for me called assessment. They all love it, I promise you. It's like your homework, they love doing assessment. The work that goes into their classes, the preparation, the time they spend reading, it's not just the hour and a half they're in front of you. So we need to appreciate them. So thank you very much for the, all the work that you do. Now it is my honor to introduce to you our keynote speaker, State Representative J.M. Lozano. J.M. Lozano serves as State Representative for Texas House District 43, which includes B, Jim Wells, Claybird, and San Patricio counties. He is the son of a medical doctor. J.M. was raised in Fremont, Texas, with his five sisters. Wife Abby have a small, they're small business owners and live in Kingsville with their three children. He chairs the House Committee on Youth Health and Safety, is Vice Chairman of the House Public Education Committee, and member of the Transportation Committee. He is a recognized advocate for our youth, championing proposals to improve mental health, education, and student success. J.M. holds a Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Texas at Austin, and a Master's of Arts in Administration from the University of in Incarnate Word. I challenge you to find a nicer, more genuine human being than our guest speaker, Senator, uh, I'm sorry, Representative Jay Lozano. Thank you so much, Dr. Hoggard, and, and it's a pleasure to be with all, all of you here today. Members of the board, uh, Dr. Hoggard, faculty administration, distinguished graduates. It's an honor to be here in this very uh, special moment in, in your life, um, your college graduation. It's a moment that will rank up there with the birth of a child or marriage, uh, a new flavor of ice cream. <laughs> it's a moment that you will always remember for the rest of your life. This memory is one that that will be one that um, you definitely will want to share with your children. Uh, I know that perhaps some of you are parents, if your children are here, uh, I want your children to know that they should be very proud of their parent for, for, for this achievement. Um, I graduated almost 20 years ago from college, and even though it's 20 years ago, it feels like it was last year. I thought about wearing my class of 03 shirt, but it won't fit. I think it shrunk. Yeah. I didn't gain weight. No. But um, this signifies an end, but also a beginning. Many of you are going to continue in academics and pursue higher degrees. You've got the best possible foundation for that. For those of you that, that didn't know, community college students, Nine out of 10 that go on for a higher degree finish that degree. Like you're the best student. What if colleges were recruiting you like an athlete, you would be a blue chip recruit because you are the ones that are going in knowing exactly what to do. As an employer, you are a blue chip recruit. 
You have the skills to go out to the real world right now, and as you know, everywhere you go, you see help wanted signs, now hiring signs. Here in Beville, we have expansion at, at Chase Field of new businesses coming, and the same applies to Beville as it does to Pleasanton, Kingsville, and Alice, as if you build it, they will come. And the future of South Texas is extremely bright when it comes to whether it's manufacturing or new businesses coming to this area. Everyone's heard of Elon Musk, right? And Tesla, uh, the rockets that he sent in into space. Ten years ago, I met Elon Musk in Austin. I was a new state representative. I was walking across the street, it was raining, and I saw a man walking, holding an umbrella for another man, which I thought was nice. Well, nice, you got someone holding your own umbrella. And he happened to know me. Uh, and he's like, Representative Lozano, join us. So I'm like, awesome. I don't have to mess up my hair and <laughs> feel humid for the rest of the day with a soaked suit. So I got under, and he's like, this is Elon Musk. And uh, like, I've, I've never met, I've never been starstruck before. I was starstruck, and this was back in 2011, before he came to Texas. And I'm like, sir, it's a pleasure to meet you, uh, Mr. Musk. I'm a huge fan of your cars, maybe someday I'll be able to afford one. <laughs> but he was trying to build and sell cars in Texas out of his own dealerships. And there's a state law that said that for Elon Musk to sell his Teslas in Texas, he had to go through an existing dealership. And Elon Musk was saying, I invented it, it's my car, why should I give someone else a cut? So he set out on a journey to change that law. Back then you could only order a Tesla on a computer, design it, and it's made in California and shipped to Texas. And, and today, Elon Musk didn't give up. Not only is he moving the headquarters of Tesla to Texas, he moved the rocket uh, launching operation he has to Texas, uh, Boca Chica Beach has one of the main test facilities, and if you've ever watched these rockets go up into space and then come back down, slow down through its own surface, creating friction, and then land just the way it took off. It's, an, it's incredible. And we're in a period of time in, in technological innovation that's very similar to the 60s where President Kennedy said that by the end of the decade, we would have a man on the moon. Ten years ago, Elon Musk was, NASA at the time was not launching as many space shuttles to space. The space program was kind of on its last legs. And then the private industry came in through innovation, was able to do it better and cheaper. And now we have multiple companies doing that and soon you might have tourists in space. It's, it's crazy. I think they've already technically been tourists in space now, but I think they had to pay quite a bit to do that. But soon, it's, it's, it's when you think about where we're going to be in 30 years, what your kids are going to be doing, if we're really good with an iPhone, what are your kids going to be really good at? Are they going to have a screen that they can see through a contact lens, and they're manipulating the screen? That's the future. For many of you that are in medicine, in nursing, in, in any technological or industrial job, that's a rapidly evolving profession as well. And what I'm extremely proud of is that you've done all, all you've done through perhaps the most adversity any Coastal Bend College, any university student in the country has had to go through. The adversity of a global pandemic. If you remember the early days of the pandemic, Many of you have lost loved ones. Someone near to you has gotten sick and they might have recovered, but they're not the same. And you've had to pursue and continue academics with that stress on your mind, with the fear. Many people gave up. Many of you know that those that started with you, the whole group is not with you. There's only a few of you that continued. That took a tremendous amount of sacrifice in all of you. It took a lot of sacrifice from your family. And I, and I want you to know that that shows your tremendous 
resilience, which is something that can't be taught in school. And it's something that I'm really proud to say Texans have in themselves. The rugged ability to, to be a survivor. To be a survivor. And I want y'all to know that here in Coastal Bank College, you've been able to stack on top of that trait a great education. I've never seen I hope Dr. Hawker doesn't mind that I told you all this, but I'm very observant. And as the line was forming, Dr. Hawker, the president of this great college, went out and high-fived people in the line. When I graduated from college, I don't even know who my president was. <laughs> uh, I think I knew the teaching aide, <laughs> not even the professor. This is a family. This here is a family. This is the model of higher education that works, that delivers to you a diploma, a certificate, at a great value, much quicker. And I want y'all to know how extremely proud I am as a legislator in Austin that sees people doing things right. We worked very closely with Coastal Bank College this session and I'm very proud to, to consider them good friends of mine. Because Coastal Bank College, like I said, is a family. Every community it touches, it goes beyond academics. It goes into community development. It gets people to have pride in their community. And they continue to give back. Uh, one of my good friends growing up uh, in Kingsville, uh, I don't know if she's here, but Dr. Stephanie Yuma, I saw her name on the program. She's the site director for the Alice campus. And not that long ago, we were both just recent college graduates, and now we've also stepped up and we're serving in this capacity as, as we are. So at some point, you guys are going to also step up and serve y'all's communities as well. And that is what's taught at Coastal Bend College. And so I want to thank y'all for all the 260 degrees and certifications that you've blessed this community with in this graduation. And I want you all to continue this incredible journey you're on. And always know that just like the adversity you have faced in the last two years with the global pandemic, life will continue to throw challenges. But you've got the, the, the tools you need to succeed. You, you are a proven success. And thank you all for this opportunity. God bless you all. Thank you. J.M. for those kind words and, and truly, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Talk about servant leadership. Um, J.M. is right. We called on him. He called on us. And, and, and we truly, at the college, from myself, the board members, everything that he's done for us, we just want to tell him we, how much we appreciate him. But J.M., I think you had a special um, something you wanted to say to somebody, right? I think you, and I think you may have forgotten, so why don't you come up and, and do that? Yeah. In that spirit of family, this this college has an incredible member of its of its staff, Bernie Signs. It's his birthday today. Bernie Signs, director of public relations. In high school, as part of CBC's dual credit program. At this time, I would like to ask that all of our high school dual enrollment students please stand so we can all applaud your outstanding achievements. Because high school wasn't enough, right? <laughs> and finally, we have our honors graduates. CBC awards the distinction of honors high honors and highest honors to students receiving associate's degrees that have earned a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher. Will all of our students graduating with honors please stand?
At this time, I would ask that all the graduates please rise and remain standing. CBC Board of Trustees, on behalf of the CBC faculty, it is now my honor to certify the candidates for certificates and degrees. I confer upon each of these graduates the respective certificate and degree for which you have been recommended upon successful completion of all requirements. And I offer my sincere congratulations. It is now time for the graduates to take the stage for the presentation of certificates and degrees. Graduates may be seated. While the graduates while the graduates make their way, I want everyone to know that our marketing and public relations team will be taking stage photos of each graduate, and they will be available for download for free on Facebook page within a couple days. Uh, details will be inside the back cover of your program. Valerie Marie Puente. <laughs> Nicolas Gabriel Anzaldua. <laughs> Brina Marie Estrada with honors. Hector Guillermo Mesa Briones. <laughs> Gabriela Ana Salazar with honors and PTK. <laughs> Alexandra Maria Herrera. Clarissa Nuera. <laughs> Gustavo Araez Barrios de Oliveira. <laughs> Joseph Riley Benavides, highest honor. Marlena Nadine Blanco. <laughs> Benito Gandu. <laughs> Adriana Christine Castillo Davila. Mackenzie Ray Figarelli Everett. <laughs> Ferrari Garcia, PTK. <laughs> Emily Madison Garrett, highest honors, PTK. Tori Nicole Garza. <laughs> Sierra Nicole Gonzalez.
Melanie Monique Gonzalez. Daniela Brenda Guerra. Zayana Leanne Gutierrez. Honors PTK. Rochelle Renee Santos. Honors. April Dean 
Bailey honors PTK. Antonio Gill Jr., PTK. <laughs> Dwayne W. Howell, PTK. <laughs> Jennifer Ann Landeros, honors. Chelsea Yvonne Lopez. <laughs> Amanda Lee Machuca, honors PTK. <laughs> Stacy Ann Martinez Contreras, PTK. Amanda Leanne Mayberry, PTK. Maricelda Molina. Anna Maria Puente. Lupita Rios, honors PTK. Elena Louise Rivera. Mayra Alejandra Salazar, five honors. Stacy Lynn Scott. Kimberly Ines Vasquez, PTK. Jennifer Deanne Williams. Selena Marie Mata Moreno, honors PTK. <laughs> Tiffany Michelle May, honors PTK. <laughs> Janice De Leon Rivas. Chris. 
Priscilla Marie Veda, High Honors PTK. Monica Perez. Antoine Bernard Carson. Adriana De Leon. Carrie Lynn Esquivel. Honors yeah. PGK. <laughs> Devin Richard Lopez. <laughs> Samantha Marie Menchaca. Clarissa Lee Tanguma. Marisa Lee Vasquez. Monique Nicole Dothran. Sarah Elizabeth Valencia, PTK. Shakira Joe Benya, PTK. Ryan Ethan Gonzalez. Samuel Fidel Cadena. Daniel Eden Gonzalez. Aida Alexia Guerra. Lionel Guerrero. Giovanni Isaac Marquez. Ashton John Perez. Ryan Sines. <laughs> Jonathan Ryan Vasquez. Congratulations. You know, board members, faculty, family, students, I forgot just how much fun graduation is.
It's a blast watching you guys come across. Thanking you. Job well done. Especially when the last six or seven, ten, I don't know, I can't count, math wasn't my major. <laughs> you know, those last that last group were high school students. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm glad we're here today with you. As we approach this final portion of today's commencement ceremony, <clears throat> I do, again, I want to extend my gratitude and thanks to the college staff that planned and executed the commencement ceremonies today. It's not just today, you all. It's every week, every day, they deliver on making your experience what it was. So let's give them a round of applause. Now the fun stuff. Dr. Rehack, would you please come to the stage? Hold on. Okay. Now graduates, please rise. It is time to move your tassels from the right side to the left side. If you ever forget which side your tassel goes on, simply remember that you wear it on the left side over your heart to remind you of your beloved alma mater, Coastal Bend College. Let me be the second, because I think Dr. Hogger was the first, to congratulate you and wish you a successful, prosperous, and meaningful future. <clears throat> think of today as a new beginning for each and every one of you, and always remember that Coastal Bend College is here for you. You are now officially alumni of CBC and part of a tight-knit family and network that will support your endeavors every step of your way. Congratulations to the fall class of 2021. stage. I would like the graduates to please stand once again. The graduates, I want all of you to remember a couple things. We all want to think that we have the grit and intestinal fortitude to do everything by ourselves, but we don't. We've got a team up here that helps make this happen. We have a team over here that makes this happen but probably none more important than the folks behind us. So I want you to turn around, thank your parents, wave at the camera. At this time, I'd like everyone to stand, please, for the benediction. Please bow our head. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine, shine on you and be gracious to you. And the Lord lift up his confidence on you and give you his peace. Father, I pray your blessings will follow us as we find new journeys to travel. As this chapter closes, so a new one begins. And may your gentle hand guide us in the decisions that we make. May our hearts and lives always reflect your love and truth, and may hope be a light within us each day. 
We ask all this in the glorious name of Jesus, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. God bless you.